Are you ready to take a trip back to the vibrant, tumultuous world of showbiz in 1979? If you haven't already, you should certainly consider watching the movie All That Jazz. Now, before we dive into the fascinating details about this film, let me ask you a couple of questions. Is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? And when was the first time you watched this movie? We're eager to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Feel free to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your perspective adds a unique dimension to the collective appreciation of this classic. Now, let's set the stage with some random facts about all that jazz. This musical drama, directed by Bob Foss, offers a candid and often gritty look behind the scenes of theater and film production. It's a story that blurs the line between reality and fantasy, featuring the talented Roy Shader as its lead. So, what's your all that jazz story? We're all ears. Share away, and let's keep the conversation going. All That Jazz, released in 1979, directed by Bob Foss, is a semi-autobiographical musical drama that delves into the chaotic and exhilarating life of Joe Gideon, a driven Broadway director and choreographer played by Roy Shader. Drawing from the life experiences of Foss himself, the film offers a raw and unflinching look at the entertainment industry's glamorous facade, juxtaposed with its toll on personal relationships and health. The movie navigates Gideon's relentless work ethic, artistic perfectionism, and his parallel struggle with substance abuse and womanizing. The story unfolds through dazzling musical numbers, emphasizing Foss's distinctive choreographic style and sharp editing. Iconic characters like the charismatic Gideon and the ethereal Angelique, a character that represents his idealized muse, are central to the narrative. The film's unique style weaves together the gritty realism of Gideon's personal life and the dreamlike sequences that blur the lines between reality and fantasy. All that jazz had a significant impact on popular culture, shedding light on the dark underbelly of showbiz and influencing subsequent films exploring similar themes. It remains a classic, revered for its insightful portrayal of the sacrifices and obsessions inherent in the pursuit of artistic excellence, while also serving as a mesmerizing tribute to the brilliance of Bob Foss's creative genius. In the 1979 movie All That Jazz, director Bob Foss faced a crucial decision when it came to casting the lead role of Joe Gideon. Columbia Pictures, known for its penchant for star-studded casts and big-name actors, initially suggested the likes of Warren Beatty and other renowned actors to take on the character. However, Foss, with a clear vision for his film and a unique understanding of the character he had in mind, insisted on casting Roy Shader as Joe Gideon. This stand by Foss might have raised a few eyebrows at the time, as Shader was not the typical choice for a lead in a high-profile film like All That Jazz. Still, Foss's unwavering commitment to his vision turned out to be a pivotal moment in the film's production. Casting Shader was a decision that ultimately shaped the destiny of the movie, as he brought a depth and authenticity to the character that might have been missed with a more conventionally acclaimed actor. Roy Shader's portrayal of Joe Gideon remains one of the most memorable aspects of the film. His performance captured the complex and multifaceted nature of the character, earning critical acclaim and leaving a lasting impact on the audience. Foss's decision to cast Shader as the lead in all that jazz not only showcased his directorial prowess, but also underlined the importance of trusting one's instincts and staying true to one's artistic vision. In the end, Bob Foss's insistence on Roy Shader proved to be a brilliant move that solidified the film's place in cinema history. The movie's success and Shader's remarkable performance are testaments to the power of visionary filmmaking and the art of casting. This remarkable collaboration between director and actor is a testament to the magic that can happen when creative minds align in pursuit of cinematic excellence. One of the first lines in the 1979 movie All That Jazz is, to be on the wire is life, the rest is waiting. This quote is a voiceover as a man falls from a high wire into a net. Interestingly, the speaker admits he didn't make this up, and the quote is generally attributed to Carl Wallenda, who had passed away the year before the movie came out. Wallenda died when he fell from a high wire without a net. This line sets the tone for the movie, reflecting its themes of risk and the exhilaration of performing. 
Additionally, the producer and co-writer of the film, Robert Allen Arthur, received two posthumous Oscar nominations for his work on All That Jazz. He passed away during the production of the movie in 1978. This recognition highlights the impact and quality of his contributions to the film. The movie's production was also notable for its duration. It took 101 days to complete the filming and post-production continued for eight months. This extended post-production period suggests the attention to detail and complexity involved in bringing All That Jazz to the screen. In conclusion, All That Jazz is a 1979 film with a memorable quote from Carl Wallenda and was a significant part of Robert Allen Arthur's career earning him posthumous Oscar nominations. Its lengthy production and post-production processes reflect the dedication and effort put into making the movie a success. This film continues to be a classic in the world of musical cinema. According to Roy Shader, for the opening cattle call scene in which Joe Gideon picks out dancers for his show, Bob Foss gave Shader an earpiece and spoke to him during filming to help the actor appear as if he knew what he was doing. The 1979 movie All That Jazz directed by Bob Foss featured a unique behind-the-scenes technique. During the opening cattle call scene, actor Roy Shader, who played the role of Joe Gideon, had Bob Foss, the director and choreographer, speaking to him through an earpiece. This unconventional method allowed Shader to convincingly portray his character as if he knew what he was doing when selecting dancers for the show. It's an interesting insight into the creative process of the film, showing how Foss used innovative techniques to achieve the desired performance from his actors. And that's a bit of trivia about all that jazz from 1979, showcasing the inventive approach used during the making of this iconic musical drama. The 1979 movie All That Jazz faced budget issues during production. Director Bob Foss exceeded the initial $6.5 million budget, particularly while filming the famous Bye Bye Life finale. Columbia Pictures declined to provide additional funds. However, an executive from 20th Century Fox was impressed by what had been shot and agreed to finance the remaining production. Profits from the film were shared between the two studios, with Fox receiving top billing in the credits. This budgetary struggle was a notable aspect of the movie's production. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the dazzling world of the 1979 movie All That Jazz, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on your own personal connection to this cinematic masterpiece. Bob Foss's vision and Roy Shader's mesmerizing performance left an indelible mark on the history of film, offering a unique glimpse into the complex, passionate, and tumultuous world of show business. Perhaps you resonate with Joe Gideon's relentless pursuit of perfection and his struggle to balance his artistic ambition with the demands of life. Maybe you're captivated by the movie's electrifying choreography and evocative storytelling, a reflection of a bygone era of entertainment. Or it could be the film's poignant exploration of mortality and the pursuit of one's true passions that strikes a chord with you. We invite you to share your favorite memories, insights, or reflections on all that jazz. What does this cinematic gem mean to you? How has it impacted your life or influenced your perspective on art, ambition, or love? Your thoughts and experiences breathe life into the legacy of all that jazz. Your words are the encore that keeps this film's spirit alive for generations to come. Thank you for taking this journey with us and for your time and interest in the world of cinema. Your presence and insights are greatly appreciated. Until we meet again, keep the magic of movies alive in your heart.